Bro, you're a bigger level than me. You're gonna really waste my time. It's a bantamweight matchup between Bruce Lee and TJ Dillashaw. These guys have been on each other's radars for quite some time. Tonight, it shall be done. Both guys well-rounded. You think we're getting a kickboxing match tonight or what? You just don't know, right? You don't know who's going to be able to employ their strategy the way that they need to. It's a close fight on paper, and also in every performance we have seen them put on, these guys seem to be the mirror image of each other. Oh, nice connection with that punch. It's one thing to have an edge in reach. It's another to take advantage. Nicely done. Well, the right hand has been there at times, not that time. Moving to his left now. Missed with that attempt. And both guys really throwing with authority. Oh, he got absolutely bludgeoned. That's as good a combination as we have seen out of him here tonight. The last time I saw a combination this good, it was Donald Cerrone beating up on Rick Story. All right, so the strike lands, but my, my children hit hard. <laughs> Yeah, at this point, early in the fight, you saw his opponent's head snapping back. You can see the effect the punches were taking. Now he may as well just be smacking him on the arm like, good job, guys. What a fight. Lee gets caught with that punch. Oh, needed the head. Staying busy in the clinch to avoid a separation. He gets to his spot, the tie clinch. Then he starts to let the knees lock. And those knees aren't just for effect. Those are doing real damage. Well, defense doesn't necessarily win championships in MMA, but he's doing a nice job blocking these shots. He's not allowing his opponent to get any damage off on him by blocking all these attacks. Dillashaw gets hit with a kick here. That one landed flush. Let's see if he can make some adjustments. DC, what do you do? You got to move. You got to shrimp. You got to get off on a hip to try to move your opponent off of you or pull him down to close the space. Bottom fighter trying to control posture, unable to do so. And now he's in a lot of danger. He's got to grab that head or he's going to get blasted. 45 seconds remain in the round. Are you getting tired yet? Because I'm about to get up. Okay, I guess not. 20 seconds to go in round one. Lee gets back up again. Nicely done. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body. Oh, is that a big move to the body? You're fucking predictable, bro. But starting to oh, oh, over the top. This fight's gonna be over this. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high when he was going to go low. And now he's got him hurt very badly. Wow! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go take that finish down now. Now goes in and secures the takedown. Back to the feet. Now goes in and secures the takedown. Oh, he postured up there, gained some valuable separation. And now the ground and pound starts. 
All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. And they both stand up. Oh, there's a takedown attempt, unable to get the fight to the ground. Nice job by the opponent. Nice job by the opponent, defending the takedown, but now he is going to have to mix it up and get the first shot. Oh, beautifully executed trip to get the takedown defensively. What are you trying to do to prevent that? Scene? You gotta be so aware defensively, because if you're not, the moment you're out of position, a guy like this will find those takedowns and those trips in all kinds of different scenarios. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Is this how you win with no stamina? Lee gets up, but he looks dazed. He looks confused. So a much different... This might be the biggest shot of this entire fight. He lands a massive hook to put his opponent on Robin Lake. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. I love it grappling can really be entertaining. Oh, nice job using his strength there to posture up. We'll see what he can do now. You are such a joy. That was so simple. I don't know who you think you were playing with. Thank you. Come again. Because you were easily figured out when you couldn't move when you're on top of me, bro. I was just letting you do your thing. I don't know what you were thinking, bro. Hey, yo, hit that like, hit that subscribe, follow for more. Catch y'all later. Peace. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop this contest at 4 minutes, 22 seconds of round number 2. Declaring the winner by knockout. Bruce the Dragon Lee! And there is the man of the moment, and what a moment this is. He must be hurry, bro. Thanks for watching, y'all. Sorry about the poor audio here. Anyways, catch y'all later. You don't hear the one that lands, that puts out your opponent's lights. And tonight, he got that done. And he should be very proud of the work he and his coaches got done tonight.